Hi, everybody. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Welcome to Entertainment Tonight. Joan Rivers remembered in New York City yesterday, stars pouring into Temple Emmanuel. You know, Joan once said that she actually wanted stars and press and jewelry from Harry Winston at her funeral. So, of course, we were there since she wanted the press there. Farewell to a friend is Entertainment Tonight's top story. I just really wanted to step out and thank you all for being there with your prayers and <laughs> love, and it has been heard by both me and Cooper. This is the cell phone video taken just hours after Joan's funeral. Melissa thanks fans who have been holding vigil outside her mom's New York apartment. And it has truly gotten over. I just want to come out and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Melissa had an emotional, tearful moment on Saturday as she kissed the casket as it was being placed into a hearse. Bagpipers led the recessional. It was beautiful. They played New York, New York, and give my regards to Broadway. You could see Melissa and her son Cooper exit behind them and then get in the limo to leave. Joan wanted a real showbiz send off and she got one. Hundreds of fans lined up outside to pay their respects, three rows deep, and many of Joan's Hollywood friends were here to remember her. Sarah Jessica Parker, Donald Trump, Barbara Walters, Rosie O'Donnell, Whoopi Goldberg, and many more. Every single person in there was there because Joan wanted them. When have you ever gone to an invitation-only funeral? Anchor Deborah Norval spoke at the service. It was about Joan Rivers. It was about my friend. It was so humbling and so such a privilege to be asked by Melissa to speak on behalf of her mom because I was there as the friend. I was there as, I was material for Joan before I was ever a friend of hers and ours was a really long friendship. After the funeral, Norval posted this image saying, this was the view as we left the temple. Joan's body was cremated on Saturday. I mean, we all grew up with Joan, you know, Joan was funny. Jada Pinkett Smith and everyone at Dennis Basso's runway show today paused to remember Joan. Please join me for a moment of silence. Basso says Joan's funeral was the perfect tribute. It was gorgeous, it was perfection. They handled it exactly the way that she wanted it to be handled. You were at the funeral yesterday. You were very close to her. Judge Judy today on the talk. The people that were there really celebrated the wonder that was Joan Rivers. And it's so nice to hear everybody talk in such positive and loving terms about her. Here's the program for Joan's service. Inside, it has her wishes for a glitzy, big funeral Hollywood affair. From her book, I Hate Everyone, starting with me, it has the order of service. And then on the back, it has lines that Joan made famous. Can we talk? Who are you wearing? And because I'm a funny person. But I really was a huge fan since I was, you know, 13, 14 years old, and she really was a pioneer for women in comedy. Last night in Toronto, Tina Fey remembered the legend at the premiere of This Is Where I Leave You, and there was an outpouring of love at Friday's Stand Up To Cancer event. You know, I'm just thinking a lot about Melissa, because I lost my mom this week, and it's very, very hard, very hard to lose your mom. Her voice was unique, and uh, she influenced a hell of a lot of comics, male and female. And my heart goes out to Melissa and her family. She was a legend, and she was kind of fearless, and she was such a trailblazer for women, female comics. It's sad, but you remember her with such positivity, you know what I mean? It just kind of puts a smile on your face to think of her.